Good morning, my friends. It's about quarter after five. I slept in a bit. I want to get up at four, but... Anyways, it's going to be a super hot day today. Almost 110. So I'd like to get my miles in in the morning. We're at a nice little campground. I forgot the name of it, <laughs> but I'll figure it out. Okay, so ready to jump out into the bugs a little because they just seem to come out of nowhere, these bugs. Anyways, we're at uh, Pack Saddle Campground near Tamarack Lake and at mile 1208.5. Got a um, 3.9 mile uh, climb, then a small downhill, then another 2.4 mile climb and then from there it should be pretty cru pretty much cruising <coughs> it's about six o'clock i'll be out here well before 6 30. i might have one more this is probably crude to say but i'm very happy to go over and use that bathroom one more time before we leave <laughs> just because there's free toilet paper and you sit on a toilet although i do love uh, being in the woods. Anyway, whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, sorry, I'm being silly. Um, I'm still tired, still half asleep, I guess. But that'll change very quickly once I start climbing. Anyway, let's go get it. Let's get some views and have some fun today. All right, let's do the silly check real quick because I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Look at them. You can just see them. Clouds of them everywhere. I sprayed my pack with permethrin, but you wouldn't know it. It's almost like a instead of a repellent, like an attractant. Attract it, it, it seems to attract them. I don't know. Anyways, we're off, and I am tired. I am tired. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, that's okay, slow and easy. <laughs> I mean, it's only gonna be like 110 degrees today. Okay, okay, let me find out where I am. Okay, we're leaving at 6.45. I was hoping to be out of here at six, but it is what it is. Nice little tent site about a mile from the top of the two salmon lakes, upper and lower. Okay, first climb done, and it was a big one 4.2 miles, pretty good elevation gain, over 3,000. So now we've got a little bit of reprieve, 0.9. That's the thing I pay the attention, the most attention to, <laughs> is the, the elevation uh, gain and loss. I don't know why. Okay, I was just talking to a woman who had reported to me and to everybody, she's trying to tell everybody um, that a hiker collapsed yesterday afternoon on trail out on that exposed part of the last climb. Uh, she had called the uh, Garmin, pushed the button, 
they uh, airlifted this uh, woman out. She's in the hospital right now. Uh, word is traveling fast through the trail. We all know it's a heat wave, even up where I am. I mean, it's not even 10 o'clock and it's, it's already 90 degrees. It's just, it's crazy, you know. And uh, so, just got to be careful, got to go slow. Try to do the miles in the morning or late at night. I have extra element. It's um, it's a um, electrolyte, but it has really a lot of um, salt. So, because I'm losing salt like crazy, like my pack's all white from me sweating out salt, sodium, and uh, and I mean I'm sweating buckets right now, and I'm just standing here, you know. So. The next few days are going to be very telling, you know, so just thought I'd mention that. I hope the woman is okay. Uh, I wish I knew who it was. She couldn't tell me her name. So I really wish I knew who it was because I, I have a feeling I know who it is. And uh, it's an older lady. And uh, I, I do hope she's going to be okay. I do. I really do. Gold Lake. The next stop will be Long Lake. Wow. That's Long Lake down there. Gold Lake over there. 96, 11 o'clock, and there's snow. That kind of boggles my mind, just got to say. <laughs> it really does. Okay, so I couldn't take the heat anymore. I laid down for about, I don't know, two hours maybe. And it's like four o'clock or something. Still wickedly, insanely hot. Like, according to my calculations here with the Garmin. We're at 99 degrees Fahrenheit. What's that Celsius? Gotta be mid to high 30s, I'm imagining. So, you know what? Safety first. Don't mess with this. This'll, this'll hurt you. If you don't watch out. I don't like to be in that lake right now. Because of my COPD on the uphills, I tend to, you know, stop and start and get my breath, my oxygen saturation levels, etc. Well, here in this heat, what I'm finding myself doing is jumping from shade to shade. So like I look ahead to see where there's some shade and I go for that spot and then I stop. <laughs> I know it seems kind of crazy, but this is my reality right now. Meadows today, please. It's too hot out and exposed. I do love meadows though. <laughs>
Okay, so I cut it a little short today. Um, it was just the combination of the heat and the, the elevation and so on. So anyway, the bugs are starting to really come out bad. So I'm going to just jump in real quick and then we'll do the jiggy. So I was setting up my stuff there and who should show up? Little chap. So they're just getting set up down here. I'm going to come and say hello to them. Come on, let's go. The best, most coldest water on trail. How you doing? Good to see you. Man, you guys are moving. I looked around for you yesterday at the... What do you video of me taking a bath? Yeah. I don't... Four in a row. Boom, 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 boom. Right in the middle of the road. Well, not in the middle, but close enough. <laughs> 